This formula is applied to find the derivative using the first principle, but how is it derived? Let's say we have a function, f of x, represented by the curve shown in the graph. And we have two different points lying on the curve. For the first point, let x denote the distance between the y-axis and the point. And obviously, it is the x-coordinate for the first point as well. Now, to get the y-coordinate, we'll have to take the value of x and substitute it into the function f of x. Therefore, by substituting, we still get f of x as the y-value in this case. And that's the y-coordinate for the first point. We've got the coordinate for the first point. Now, for the second point, we might have no idea exactly how far it is from the first point, but what we can do is to denote the distance between the first and second points as h. To find the x-coordinate for the second point, we'll have to figure out the distance between the y-axis and the second point. By observing the graph, we can notice that the distance is simply x plus h, and that's the x-coordinate for the second point. For the y-coordinate, just like what we did earlier, we substitute the x-coordinate into the function f of x. In this case, we get f of x plus h as the y-coordinate. And now we've got the coordinate for the second point as well. As we have two points with two coordinates on the curve, we can draw a straight line passing through both the points and find the gradient of the line. This line is known as a secant line, which is a straight line that intersects a curve at a minimum of two different points. For the gradient, denoted by m, it is equal to y2 minus y1, divided by x2 minus x1. So we label the coordinate of the first point as x1 y1, and x2 y2 for the coordinate of the second point. To find the gradient of the secant line, we substitute the coordinates into the formula accordingly. For the y2, we got f of x plus h. We substitute it into the formula. For y1, we got f of x, and we substitute it into the formula. We do the same thing for x2 and x1. We substitute both of them into the formula accordingly. And we have finished substituting the x and y coordinates into the formula. Notice that we have x and minus x in the denominator, so we can cancel them out. And we've got the gradient function of the secant line. However, when finding the derivative of a function, we actually care about the gradient of the tangent line. For the tangent line, just like in this example, it is known as a straight line that intersects a curve at only one point. But what we have here is a secant line. So we try to move the second point closer to the first point, just like this. You see when we move the second point towards the first point, the distance between them becomes smaller. Now, we want to move the point even closer to the first point, and closer, until the distance between them is nearly zero. The reason for bringing the two points very close to each other is that the secant line passing through both points can now serve as a great approximation of the tangent line at this specific point. The gradient of this line is actually what we are trying to find when taking derivative of the function. Therefore, it is important to make sure that the distance between the points is very small, which is close to zero, but we know that it must not be exactly zero, as this would result in division by zero in the denominator, which is impossible. As such, this can be represented by the limit of h approaching zero. And that's why we have this limit in the formula for the first principle of derivatives. In conclusion, the derivative of the function f of x, which is denoted as f prime of x, is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h approaches zero, where this part of the expression represents the gradient of the secant line, while this part refers to the distance between the points becoming very close to zero. And that's how we derive the formula for the first principle of derivatives. I trust you'll find this video helpful in understanding the derivation of the formula. Thank you.